Hello, I'm Naga Prana and I'm 14 years old. I'm from Tanaratha International School. Do you know that the Malayan tapir is the world's biggest tapir? However, less than 1,500 of them exist in peninsular Malaysia. This is because they are constantly threatened by ruthless poachers, trapped by snares, hit by cars, and many more. They are now critically endangered and on the brink of extinction. Motivated by SDG 15, Life on Land, and desiring to play a role in tupper safekeeping, I have chosen to design an interactive and educated scratch game called SAFTAP, an abbreviation for Safe Tuppers. I have spun together a heartwarming tale in which a mother tupper is trapped and dragged away by the poacher. Her baby needs to collect five orbs in order to free her from her doom. The first predicament are snares. The tupper needs to jump over these snares to avoid being maimed and these were left behind by the poacher. However, he has now reached the end and can collect his first orb. Moving on, the tupper needs to dodge over speeding cars and throw debris that could be detrimental, such as the spikes over here. And a rain effect has been added to simulate the low level visibility conditions the poacher's lair is explored as the topper jumps over trapped animal cages and explores the gruesome hide that the poachers have obtained from the dead animals. Moreover, it needs to tackle some forest flames that are extremely deadly and can engulf it in one swipe. The forest is flooded due to the construction of some hydroelectric projects. Thus, the tapper needs to jump over these toxic waste canisters and escape its predators lurking underneath the water to collect its fourth orb. Finally, the fifth and final orb can only be collected if the tupper eliminates deforestation by jumping on the lumberjack's heads. As you can see, there are many cut down trees to symbolize the mass deforestation these people had carried out. Then. A badge is awarded to the gamer to encourage them to be a tupper conserver. Now here comes the most interesting part of my project. I have included a short animation of my innovative solution to a major threat, Rokil, which is a smart tupper road sign. And it's equipped with an Intel RealSense camera which will be connected to a Broadcam founder Raspberry Pi which is programmed to detect the baby and the adult tupper images using platforms such as Teachable Machine. Once recognized, a clown signal will be sent to an LED display 400 to 500 meters away, warning road users to slow down. Moreover, I have also included a plethora of sound effects, animated sprites and fruits, and quirky text bubbles. Now, let's take a look at the three most important accessibility features of my game. Let's start off with the bilingual translation system, which appeals to both an English and a Malay audience. It has been translated thoroughly. An integrated joystick to ensure mobile friendliness. The third and most important accessibility feature is the game's compatibility with the colorblind users. As you can see, there are several different categories of colorblindness and the sprites in my game are clearly visible in all of them. So using this beneficial website that lets me look through the eyes of a colorblind user, I have managed to identify colors which are seeming to blend with each other, make them contrasting and add borders to certain buttons as you can see in this picture over here. While developing the scratch game, I have run into several problems. The first was adding more than one animated sprite to a scene. This has lagged the game due to the number of scratch blocks running at once. Thus I have used Scratch's custom block feature to reduce that number and to reduce lag effectively. If I had more time, I would link users to topper conservatory programs. Moreover, I would add VR and AR support to my game to enhance its realism. Thank you. And let us unite to eliminate the tougher threats.